I'm Mark with MacFlies at Tailwater Outfitters, and this is a simple bait fish. So the hook we're using is the, some shall say, the best tarpon hook known to man. Some may say otherwise. All right, SL12S. What's the S stand for? Short. Not SL12. SL12S. Okay. Put that bad boy in there. We got some 210. All right, in the white. We're going to start at the eye. Um, I don't really like to go all the way back to the bin. We're going to kind of stop. If you were to lay your thread down, see this point right here, right there, okay? Barb, hook point, that's where we're going to stop. Cut that excess off. We take some ostrich hurl. Ostrich hurl, baby. It's the way to go. All right. I'm gonna put that on there. We're gonna be, if you want it sparse, you can put a little less. Sometimes when you get these in the package, they're a little bit thicker, sometimes a little bit thinner. So I would always say the thicker, the less ones you'll need. The thinner, the more, okay? So we're gonna do, I would say if, you, if I were to hold my thumb up, like here, right? You can kind of see that thumb about thumb length okay look something like this maybe a little less whatever you know if it's too much you could just pop a couple thread couple couple of them off okay one came off all right so size one so it's gonna be a little bit bigger of a pattern but not too big okay so what I like to do is just Kind of roll these, kind of get them straight. So one, two, and about two and a half. So I'll be sitting about right here, okay? A couple inches off the back. We got a regal vise, you know, that's what I'm using. It would go back to pretty much where your uh, clip is, all right? Tie this in. A couple threads over, kind of just secure it. All right, take this, cut. Get rid of it. Alright. Alright. Kind of clean it up. And we're not going to go directly onto the ostrich hurl. This is going to be the next time point. So it's going to be a little bit away from it. So you're going to have that space. A little bit of space. I would say right at the hook point. It's kind of where I generally started. We're going to go grab the old trusty arc box okay grab a little bit of this cut you don't want to do too much too much is too bulky okay want a little bit sparser then again like I said cut all these guard hairs kind of looks like junk right now you don't want that okay kind of undo all these Get all that under fur out of here. We don't want that. Take a lice comb. You do that. You do this. You know. If you're on the go. This is what you got to do. You know. See all that? Get rid of it. Okay. And on this one, you kind of want to see how these guard hairs are. Kind of want to keep a little bit. Not much. You don't want them like coming out to here. Kind of, kind of peel away some. I'm gonna take this, and I like to do is put it on top. Put it on top, as you can see. Do one, kind of two, real loose wraps, and then take your, your other finger, kind of roll it. Roll it. So what those two uh, wraps will do is kind of just secure the um, Arctic Fox on there. All right. Kind of roll this around, make sure it's spread all the way over, get some lovin's on there, man. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Get that going, clean this up. So I like to do, like I've said this before, kind of take this, roll it, 
Kind of makes it a little bit of cleaner of a cut. Clean that. Toss that out of here. Get it out. Okay, clean up again. And then we're going to take some old crystal flash and silver. All right. So we're going to run those kind of like the same way you would do the uh, legs, like silly legs or something. I'm going to tie in on this side. Kind of on this side. All right. And then we're going to wrap this around, tie it on the other side. You're going to take them, kind of pull them back, make sure they're even on each side. Okay. All right. We're not going to have all this. Take it right at the end of the ostrich roll, snip right off. Throw it away. Next step is going to be the latest and greatest craft for a brush, baby. Alright. This stuff comes in different, uh, you know, sometimes it comes in good, sometimes it comes in, you know, better. Alright, so this one's a little bit thin. See this tag in? We don't need that. Bad scissors. Cut. Alright, what I like to do is I come in off the side. So if you were seeing from my point, it would be on this side. Okay? So I'm gonna tie in here. Kind of clean this up a little bit. You don't want that, that wire cutting your thread off. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this. It's this kind of the same thing as like Foxy brush, whatever your brush is, any brushes in general. Kind of just pull all this back. All right. And what I, with this, I don't like to go directly on itself. I like to kind of space it out when I first go. I'll do one wrap here and then I'll kind of space this out. As I get closer to the eye of the hook, I will then start again with getting closer. So I'll do a couple wraps, just kind of bulk up the head. You don't want it too bulky. Um, you know, like I said, it's going to be like, like throwing a wet sock. You don't want that. All right. So it kind of looks pretty good. Maybe just do one, one more. Okay. Pull these fibers back. You're going to have some, some trap fibers. That's fine. All right. Throw this thread over, get a couple wraps, secure that. And I will like to do again, pull it back, wrap in front. All right, bad scissors. There we go. All right, you see that? See that wire? Mash down the wire. Kind of pull all this back. And we're gonna go like this. One, a couple wraps. Okay. Now we can take scissors again. See all these trap fibers? Junk junk. You don't want that. All right. Like this. Kind of get all those out of there. Get them all out. We don't want them. All right. All right. See that? That looks like a bait fish. Looks like some something, something's going to eat that, right? So, with that crafter brush pretty pretty wide, whatever. All right. So what I like to do, kind of tone it down, I'll, I'll grab these tips of this and I'll kind of pull them out. Junk. Get that out of here. Junk. All right. And I kind of want, basically, for this size, I kind of want the ostrich hurl to be further out. Okay. The reason I say that is because sometimes if you have this um, craft fur brush, a little bit longer and is kind of no point in having the ostrich hurl because you know it won't really be seen so you kind of clean up a little bit okay i like that I'm starting to look a little bait fishy okay yeah all right all right now whip finish
I always do too. Um, just force a habit, honestly. Got it. Now, snipped off. Okay. Now, next thing we're gonna use. Looks good, right? Let's throw this right now. Throw this right now, it'd be great. Whatever, you know? I'm gonna put a little razzle dazzle on there. Okay. Blue pearls, it's the way to go. Okay, so kind of see. So what I like to do is, so I kind of make sure that my eyes always end up in the same general area. So if I were to take my scissors, whatever, you know, kind of line it up with the hook point. See that? Just come straight down. It's generally where I want my eyes to be. Okay? Let's take this. Take some uh, super glue lock Loctite, you know. I like to use Loctite. It's pretty quick. Gets it done. All right. So then what I'll do is kind of line this up. And I'm like, okay, it's in the same general spot. And what I like to do is put my finger and kind of brush that down so I have a spot. Got it on there. Gotta be kind of quick with it. These these uh, these eyes can get a little tricky. They'll slip right out of your fingers. Mash it down. You know, five, four, three, two, one. It's on there. Bam! Look at that. Looks great. Okay. Got it on there. Got one. And then you kind of like see, kind of line it up. Are they straight? Are they in line? You know. Got it. And then what I'll do is I'll take my fingers and I'll mash my brush and my eyes down. Let it dry, let it dry, kind of, it's pretty quick. Okay. Now, we guards. You can add them if you want. I do not. Okay. And this is Simple Bait Fish.